Hey, I'm Val, and this is my now husband, Philip. After nearly 11 years together, we decided to finally get married in the middle of a pandemic. As big parties with friends and family back home were off limits, we had to come up with a new plan. So instead, we decided to stay in the UK, get married in one of our favorite cities in the world, and tie it all together with an epic road trip across the UK. Basically like a honeymoon, but make it COVID friendly. So our COVID moon. Follow along as we start this new chapter in our lives and explore corners of our expert home we have never seen before on our great British road trip. Welcome everyone to our first episode of the COVID Moon series and welcome to the Lake District. This is our first station after we stopped just for a night in a lovely, lovely campsite in Staffordshire, which was absolutely amazing. Green fields in the middle of sheep and cows on a lovely hill, blue sky, sunshine. It was absolutely amazing. But now we've arrived in the Lake District and we're here for two days and one of those has actually already passed. It was a very relaxing one. So let's just quickly skip to that, to the North Lake Spa Hotel in Penrith.
look at this pillow face or towel face I should say <sighs> we're just back from our full body massage first time we've ever done this it's absolutely amazing I feel like a newborn it's so nice she went all over my back and my legs and my feet and put loads of lovely oil on it and she went really really in there so nice so good like we should really do this more often absolutely relaxing but now let's get back to the lake district so today after we had a full body massage which was incredibly relaxing we're now kind of ruining all the hard work <laughs> because we're going on a big hike and probably will be just as sore after as we were before our massage but anyway we're trying our best here and so now we're on a walk to Waller Craig and Bleaberry Fell. We have no idea what we're doing. We just looked up hikes that aren't like eight hours long and 16 kilometers long. Because it's just a little bit too much for us. So we've picked this one. I think it's supposed to be nine kilometers and three to four hours. Medium difficulty. So I think that's just right. And the weather is amazing, but it's probably quite good for hiking. And we have just made it up, well, halfway up this hill. I need to stop to catch your breath because it's quite steep, I must say. But already the landscape is absolutely amazing. It just looks so nice, so green, so many flowers, so many lovely trees along the way and the views, I mean, it's pretty stunning. By the way, the Lake District is the most popular area in England for holidays. There are 15 million people coming to the Lake District every year. And I think this year, because of COVID, more people might come because everyone stays in the UK, just like we do. So yesterday, when we arrived into the Lake District area, we stopped by Windermere because that is supposed to be like the capital of the Lake District. And we just wanted to go for a walk along the lake and just take in the scenery. And we honestly drove around for an hour and we could not find a single parking space. So that just shows you how busy it is and how popular it is. But here there's no one, so we're just by ourselves. We've only met two people along the way and it's very relaxing and very nice to be just surrounded by nature and not have that many people. in we're so 
still going strong. Didn't someone say your honeymoon is supposed to be relaxing? For some reason, our trips never turn out to be relaxing. And there's still quite a long way to go. I can see the summit! Nearly there. We made it! Woo! 589 meters! All by ourselves! And with a breathtaking view! I can see Alfred. Alfred is the call, by the way. We did it! In pretty much exactly four hours. You probably could do it in three and a half hours because we did take some breaks for pictures and videos and stuff. But that was good. That was a good walk. How did we like this? Yeah, it was good. How intense was it? Yeah, me too. Had some steep sections. But yeah. This this is all gone. <laughs> all gone. Alfred. So I definitely would recommend this walk. This car park is called the Great Wood Car Park, by the way, and it's just north of Keswick, so it's very easy to get here. And this car park was full when we arrived earlier. So and it's a Monday today, and it's not school holiday, so it's definitely a popular spot. So arrive early, especially if you're coming during the summer holidays. But it was a great little introduction to the Lake District. I think for us people who live in the city, it was more than enough hiking. But if you're after a bit more adventure, there's loads and loads and loads of much, much bigger hills you could go on. So just have a wander around, uh, see what tickles your fancy and have fun walking. Right.